Hey everybody, welcome to Randy Reviews It. Today we're going to be talking about the Holosun AEMS. So the Holosun AEMS is the Advanced Enclosed Micro Sight. What does that mean? It means it's a very small sight that's enclosed, so it's weatherproof for the most part. And um, it's advanced because it has some of Holosun's advanced features, which is a 2 MOA dot with a 65 MOA reticle, the donut of death around that. Um, with a lot of Holosun products, it features their lifetime warranty. I would only buy the MRS, which features Shake Awake as well as Solar. Um, it has a built-in mount that is a 1.63 dot height. It has a 2032 battery that's set to last 50,000 hours, which is pretty big. It has a really big field of view here that you can see. So it's two times larger than a 20 millimeter tube. You have built-in scope caps on here that just snap in and out. Um, if you get dirt or debris, you can flip those down. You can take a shot with it. So where does this come in to the grand scheme of things price-wise? So this site with the MRS, which is with the solar and everything like that, which is the only, rec only version of it I would recommend. You know, you're, you want all the features when you're... When you're getting into something like this i think so it's 470 58 retail for this site which by holosun standards is pretty high it's uh not a cheap site especially when you have you know things like lead and steel's promethean out you have some vortex offerings all kinds of stuff like that so um compared to some of holosun's other offerings the 515, you're looking at $411 for the aluminum version, the 7075 aluminum. If you pay $500, or I think it's like 511, you get the titanium one, which is probably harder use the, for the 515. That's only four ounces. This one weighs 3.9. So uh, granted that 515, I believe it's only a 20 millimeter tube on that. Um, don't quote me for sure, but um, so you're getting a smaller field of view. So what is this perfect for? This is perfect for your pistol caliber carbines, your small home defense rifles like this that you want to keep light and mobile. What is it not for? I would say um, with, with my initial impressions on this, it's not hard use rated yet. Maybe someone beat it up in a torture test. That's probably not me. But it just doesn't feel the same way that the lead and steel Promethean does as far as durability. But then again, that's four times, wait, no, three times heavier than this thing. So um, you're getting that trade off a smaller site, giant field of view. It may not be duty rated, but it's pretty close. What do I think they could have done better on this? Um, so this mount you can see that it's got a screw right there i would have liked to have seen a qd mount i know they offer it on some of their other sites that just a quick detach it would have it would have made a difference on this the mount's a little annoying to be honest it's built in it's nice it's got a nice height however to get it on i had to take the piece completely off the other side to get it onto the rail which i i usually like to see it where you just put it on and tighten it not have to Get that little piece on the first, you know, eighth of an inch away or whatever it is. Um, so, yeah. What could be better? Priced. Um, this seems a little too bougie for what I would say, like, when you think of Holosun. I know that they definitely have respect now. I used to be a Holosun denier. Now I'm a big fan. I have pl plenty of their sights, especially on my handguns. Um, I would have just liked to have seen a QD mount and maybe drop the price, let's say $70. Um, keep it right at that 400 range if we could. That would probably be ideal. So if you see one of these out on, you know, third-party site or a vendor or something, maybe they come on sale. If you could get it for $400 or less, that's definitely a steal. I would recommend this site. So far, this is just my initial review. 
but I've taken this site out probably nine to 12 times on range days and I've had good luck with it. Having that wide field of view gives you a really good picture of like what's going on if you need to make quick target transitions, that wider field of view really helps. Um, the bezels on it aren't giant, so it's not like there's, you know, obscured view or anything like that. So yeah, overall, uh, Holosun did pretty well with this. There's a few things I'd tweak, but I look forward to testing this further and giving you guys a full review on it. Maybe doing a little durability testing if I get brave enough to drop this. Uh, I don't necessarily do that type of review usually, but I kind of want to try it with this because um, if this thing can stand up to some pretty heavy drops and some pretty heavy durability, then you got uh, kind of a real winner here as far as the size of it, uh, the weight of it, the amount of battery hours, the reticle, the solar backup. Yeah, everything there. Uh, it's a pretty solid offering from Holosun. I'm really excited. I know that uh, at SHOT Show, they kind of debuted a thermal that kind of looked like this, but it included thermal, which would be really amazing. I'm not sure what that'll cost, but I look forward to it. So uh, if you have any questions about this Holosun, feel free to reach out. Um, I'm going to be putting it through a lot of tests. Uh, I bought a bunch more 300 Blackout for this. Uh, so looking forward to testing this site further and, you know, do some target transitions and things like that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.